welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on my video. Today's video is going to be super fun. It's going to be a DIY Christmas gifts video. So even though Christmas is in like a few days, I know that there's a lot of people out there who are still looking for last minute gifts. And so these are some like budget friendly, affordable, really easy to make ideas that are great to just throw together and give to your loved ones. So I have like a peppermint pamper spa type jar. I have some really yummy cookies and cream popcorn that we're also gonna put in jars. Homemade snow globes, like DIY snow globes for the season, and also a really cool like chocolate pineapple themed gift. So we're gonna try and get through these quickly, but they are super fun and yeah. And also I have some really pretty like watercolor coffee mugs, cause you guys know I'm obsessed with coffee mugs, so I thought that those would be really fun to make, and those only include two steps, two ingredients. So I'm going to start with the peppermint pamper jar. So this one is just themed on obviously pampering. It's like a spa day within a jar and it's all peppermint scented. It's super luxurious. This one would be great for any woman in your life that you want to pamper just a little bit and it's all super easy to make. So I'm going to make like a peppermint body mousse type lotion thing, a peppermint body scrub, and then also a peppermint foot scrub. And then I'm going to throw in some of these extras that I have here as well. So these are all of the ingredients that I have for what we're gonna make in the spa kit. So this is the jar that we're going to keep everything in. I got this at Hobby Lobby and I think it was like $7, but they always have sales, so I got for 40% off. I also got these little containers there to put the actual product in themselves. I got these in the art aisle where the paint is and they came like this with black caps, but I ended up painting the lids red spray painting them that way they're just a little bit more like peppermint themed so the base of the body mousse lotion is going to be the twisted peppermint bath and body works lotion we're going to add some vitamin e like skin cream into it some petroleum jelly a little bit of vanilla the foot soak has a epsom salt peppermint uh, scented base to it and then also the body scrub is going to be a sugar body scrub with some peppermint extract and these cute little peppermint crunch flakes into it as well. And then these are the extras that I'm going to throw in there after all of the products are in there in their little tubs. Also then any extras that we have after I put these three containers filled with the like mousse in the scrub and then we put it in the jar and we like package it up and it looks all pretty and everything. Any extra that I have, I'm going to put in these little red mason jars to just gift out to additional people. So this is like a three mason jar set that I got at Target in the dollar spot. So I think, yeah, it was $3 for all three of these and they're just like little red mason jars, perfect for peppermint treats. Okay, so to make the lotion, I'm going to use this magic bullet, or this is the Nutri Bullet. You can also use if you have like one of those actual whipping machine cooking things. I don't know what they're called, but you can use that to like whip it up so it's more of like a mousse. But I don't have one of those, so I'm just gonna use the Nutri Bullet. I think it will work just the same. So I'm going to take one bottle of this Twisted Peppermint Lotion from Bath and Body Works. Then I'm gonna put like a third of this jar of petroleum jelly in there. There's no like specific measurements or anything either, so you can just kind of make it as gooey as you would like. And then I'm gonna add like a fourth of this vitamin E cream. Then I'm gonna add just a couple drops of red food coloring to it just to give it a little bit more peppermint-like color. Then also a couple drops of the pure peppermint extract and a couple drops of vanilla. Okay, the Nutribullet is not working so far, so I'm just gonna put everything in this little white bowl to mix it up myself. So it's trial and error, people. So then this is what the whipped body butter looks like so far. So now I'm just gonna put it in one of these little containers. Don't mind this little red messiness. And then just put a little red lid on it. And there's one. So now we're going to do the body scrub. So that actually has a coconut oil base. So I'm going to heat up and melt some coconut oil and then mix it with sugar and then all the peppermint stuff as well. So this is what the coconut oil looks like now that I've heated it up a little bit. Then I'm just going to pour some sugar into it. I'm not really measuring it out clearly. Just kind of mixing everything together. I'm just adding in more and more sugar until it gets like that consistency that I want. A little bit more peppermint extract. A little bit more vanilla. And a little red food coloring for color. So 
So this is what the sugar scrub looks like. Nice and pink. And then I'm just going to put it in a container. Then for the foot soak, we're going to take this Epsom salt that is already scented like cooling peppermint. And that's going to be the base of the foot soak. Just splash a bunch in there. Then I'm gonna add some red food coloring to this one as well. And then a little bit of the peppermint extract. Then you add a little bit of baking soda to it and just stir it all together. And I'm gonna put some peppermint flakes in there. And then we're gonna let this sit for like 30 minutes and come back and then finish off this jar. So then while that stuff is setting, I'm going to go ahead and fill up these little extra bread jars with some of the leftover concoctions that we made up. So I'll start with the body scrub. And I'm actually gonna add in some of these little peppermint crunch flakes just to make it a little bit more texturized. Fill it up. Also the body butter. Okay, so now that the bath soak or that the foot soak is done setting, I'm just gonna pour it into the tub as well. So here's the three finished products for the little pamper jar. This is the peppermint body mousse, this is the peppermint body scrub, and I added some peppermint flakes on top, and then this is the foot scrub. Put the lids back on. And then these are the extra jars of product I have. So this is an extra jar of the body mousse, an extra jar of the body scrub, and I also added some of those peppermint flakes on top. And then this is like half a jar of the body mousse that I had extra. Then the blog that I actually found this recipe from, the woman, it's from a couple years ago, but the post that the woman wrote actually provided little labels for the jars. So I printed these out, there's one for each product. So I'll link those down below so you guys can find these as well if you'd be interested. And I'll link the original blog post too so you can check out all the step-by-step -step directions if you'd like to. So I'm just gonna cut out some of these labels and add them to the jars too. Okay, so then these are all of the finished products. This is what they look like with the labels on, and then these are the extra jars that I had left over too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these little guys inside the big jar and then add the extras to it as well. I'm gonna add one of these candy cane chopsticks to it. This is like a little face mask. It's not peppermint, but it looks like it. So I'm just gonna include that in there too. And then I'm gonna include one of these Starbucks um, peppermint mocha lattes. And that's what the final product looks like. So I just added this bow. The nail polish doesn't fit, but that's okay because I can just give it to them separately. Um, this is what the jar looks like, and then these are all of the little extras that I had too. Okay, so the next one that we're going to do is super fun and it's a little less intimidating, a little less crazy, and definitely less messy. So basically we're going to take this bottle of champagne and turn it into a pineapple. So all we're going to do is take these little Ferrero Rocher chocolates. If you've had these, you probably love them. I love them so, so much. So we're gonna take these, glue them all over this bottle of champagne and make it look like a pineapple, add a little extras to it. It's gonna be super fun, really easy. So let's just get into it. So basically you just take a chocolate super glue the bottom or hot glue or however you want to do it and then glue the chocolates on the bottle of champagne and not go all the way up just go to the bottom where the gold part starts like that So 
So this is what it looks like so far. As you can tell, some of the chocolates like this are falling out. What I'll do in that case, a lot of them, in fact, when you first put the chocolates on the pineapple or on the champagne bottle, they'll kind of fall out of the package. Since Ferrero Rocher, it's really hard for me to say, but since this brand of chocolate, they're not like actually stuck in these little cups very well. So I'll just flip them over and super glue them back into the little cups themselves. That way they stay on and then when you give it to whoever, then they can actually just open it from the outside and they won't have to worry about pulling it out. So it doesn't matter if it's perfect. It's still, it gives the overall pineapple look either way. So I'm just going to finish adding on the chocolates until we get up to about this point and then I will add on like the little fake palms. So, and definitely a tip I have too is to start from the bottom because if you start from the bottom and work your way up, then you can add the leaves on top and kind of glue chocolates over it, so. This would make a great gift like if you're going to a dinner party or someone's house or something, somewhere where you can bring it and they'll have it right away. I will be traveling with this to Texas, so hopefully it, holds up during like a 20 hour car ride. Okay, so now that I'm about at this point on the bottle, now I'm going to put the palm leaves at the top. So I got this little plant from Michael's, just looks like this, and I had a coupon, so it was like six bucks, super affordable. And I actually only want it for these little palm leaves up here. This is what it looks like. Don't those look like pineapple leaves? You could also use um, just like green construction paper to make your own fake leaves or get real leaves to add on top of there. Whatever you wanna do, I just felt like this was like the easiest way to go about it for myself. Okay, so now I have all of these extra little leaves like this. So I'm just going to do the same thing and like hot glue those on here and I'm kinda of gonna put them like opposite directions like that so it actually looks like the top of a pineapple. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like so far. I think it turned out pretty good. So these are just the little like palm leaf things that I got from Michaels. I mean, it's not like the most like plush top of a pineapple, but it works. I think it's starting to look like a pineapple. So I'm just going to glue more chocolates on now, kind of around this area, and then work their way up here to cover up the bottom of the pineapple stem, and then we will be good. Looks like that so far. So then to finish the pineapple, I'm just gonna take some of this gold ribbon and like wrap it around the stem. And I get excessive with the gold ribbon, as you can tell. Another thing to keep in mind if you are making this is that if you buy the little Ferrero Rocher um, chocolate boxes like this, this is one of the packs that I bought, then you could actually use this as a gift box too because it does say the name on here, but you're giving the chocolates on the pineapple anyway, so you could kind of give this as like a two-in-one gift. That would be cute. So that is how the chocolate pineapple turned out. I think it's super cute. I really love the way it turned out. It's so easy, really. I mean, it is kind of time consuming, um, but really all you're doing is just gluing down chocolates and making it look pretty. So I think it turned out pretty good. I'm excited. And it's such like a girly, cute gift. It's perfect, like I said, for like any dinner parties you have coming up or anything like that. Like if you have a dinner party or a holiday party and you show up with something like this, they're gonna think that you're adorable, so. I love that. And you may have to glue the chocolate in a few times, but sorry, I mean, nobody will complain about champagne and chocolate, right? So, so cute, love that one. I love that pineapple. Okay, so the next one is really, really easy. So all you need are three different things, really you only need two ingredients. And what we're going to do is we're going to make really cute decorative coffee mugs. So you guys know I'm obsessed with coffee mugs. I love them, especially big ones like this that are just so nice for like cozying up. You can get these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, but I got these at Target for $1.99. They didn't have any white ones at the Dollar Tree, but you do wanna pick white just so that the color shows up more. So all you're going to do is take a little Tupperware container like this of water, so I just filled it in case you can't see I just filled it to about right here with water we're going to drop in a little bit of nail polish 
stir it around and dip the coffee mugs in the water and with that it's going to create really beautiful like watercolor mugs it's gonna be awesome so pretty so girly so easy and it's something she definitely won't have at least not a handmade version so you can use any color of nail polish that you want to I picked these two that I have this one is just by the brand spoiled I don't know it's just like a pretty pink color and then this one is one that I got in my ipsy bag so it's by trust fund beauty in the color champagne socialite so pink white and gold are like my favorite color of life so I'm going to kind of make concoctions with those colors to make these mugs really pretty you can either do like one color per mug and make it kind of like a colorful swirl on a white background or you can mix the colors together to make like a really fun print type thing so let's just get into it and I'll show you how I do it okay so don't mind any messiness over here that's just left over from the projects that we just did so you do want to use a bowl that you're okay staining a little bit because it will have a little bit of residue left I'm just gonna start with the pink one And then I'm going to use a toothpick to kind of stir it around. You can use that to make designs if you'd like or make make it look a little bit more watercolor-like. So I'm going to dip a little bit more nail polish in there. And I'm just going to take this mug and dip it in there. See how pretty that looks? Oh my god, so pretty. I love it. So we're just gonna set it there and let it dry for a while. So I would m recommend using a separate container if you would like to keep the colors like totally separate, um, but I don't really care, I'm not that picky and I'm not the best planner, so I only have one, but if it transfers over, that's totally fine with me. So now I'm just gonna try the gold color. This one's kind of like a sparkly metallic gold too, I bet will look really pretty. And I'm gonna use a lot just to make sure that it's like extra pigmented. And if it gets a little bit of pink on there, it will just look good with it, I think. That is so cool. Look how pretty that is. And I'm gonna actually do a little bit more with that copper color because I really like that. So pretty, love how that turned out. And you can really make like any pattern you want with it. So that's how those two look for now. I'm just gonna let them sit for a little while and then we will revisit them after they're completely dry. Okay, so now this one is another really fun one. So we're going to make cookies and cream popcorn. I'm going to take some of this skinny pop. This is just plain like lightly salted popcorn. And then we're going to mix some of these bright white vanilla like candy wafer chips with Oreos and make like a cookies and cream popcorn. It's gonna be so delicious. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is melt some of these candy wafers. I'm just gonna heat them in the microwave for like a minute or so and I'm making plenty of them because I really don't have a use for them once I'm done with this so I might as well just make the whole bag of popcorn. But yeah, all right. So I'm gonna go heat those up for a second and I'll be back. Okay, so I have the little melted wafers now so I'm just gonna stir those up. I'll, oop, got a little burnt but that's okay. And then before that hardens again, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix up the popcorn. So, so I would recommend doing a tiny bit at a time like this much just so that it's easier to stir. And you can mash up the Oreos any way that you would like as well. Um, the last time I did this, I just used like a potato masher to do it, but I don't have one of those with me right now. So I'm just gonna go about it a little ratchet like throw my Oreos in a Ziploc bag and crush them around. And this is another project that can be really messy and it doesn't matter. It's not gonna like compromise the quality of the gift because nobody's gonna complain about cookies and cream popcorn, all right? Sometimes I'll even take this and like kind of smash it against the counter like that. Pour all the Oreos in here and then pour the white chocolate. Ooh, this bowl's hot. And because the white chocolate is hot, it may make the popcorn like a little, not mushy, but a little more soft. So if it does, don't freak out. It still tastes really good. And just mix it all together. Okay, so it's been cooling for a few minutes, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the jars. So this is a jar that I got at the Dollar Tree, so obviously it was a dollar, so I figured that would be good for stuff like this. And then this one with the really cute like copper um, wiring, this one is from Target. I got it in Dollar Spot for three bucks. So I'm just gonna throw some popcorn in both of these, make them all cute, and then that is a gift all done. So there's one, look how cute. And now I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with the pineapple and I'm gonna put some pretty gold ribbon around it just to make it a little more festive. All right, and there are two pretty popcorn presents. So good, you guys gotta try it, seriously. If you like popcorn, you like chocolate, you need to try these. So delicious. 
Okay, so then the last project that we're going to do is to turn these glass jars into really pretty wintertime snow globes as gifts. So I got both of these at Hobby Lobby. They were really affordable and they actually had a sale going on their glass jars, so they were only a few bucks each. So they came with these lids, but obviously, but I'm just going to take them and set them aside for now. We're actually going to design them as if they're upside down like this because that's what will make them look like snow globes. So I already took some of this glass frosting spray paint and I spray painted the tops right here and I also spray painted the bottoms just like very loosely like not super organized just so it gives a little bit more of like a snowy effect. I actually ended up doing it really sloppily so that's kind of why you can see it like drip down a little bit but I think it kind of works. It almost makes it look a little more like icicle like. You can get any brand as long as it's the frosted glass kind. That's what's going to give you like this kind of snowy icy effect. So we're going to use the lids as bases for our snow globes. The other things that I got for this project, I got these little green trees. These are from Dollar Spot at Target, super cute. And as you can tell, they already look a little bit snowy, so I think they'll look really nice inside of the snow globe. I also got these white pom-poms from Dollar Spot. They're meant to look kind of like wintry and snowy, so I think they'll make really cute like snow bottoms of the snow globes. Got some white glitter from Michaels. I believe I got all four of these packs from Michaels. This one is just like a really pretty like like white shimmery powder. This one looks a little bit more crystallized. There's a little silver for a little extra sparkle. And then these actually look like snowflakes, so they'll be really pretty in there. So that will kind of make like the shaking around effect. I also found this cute little Christmas reindeer at Michael's. It's actually a photo frame, so it had like a little wire sticking out of here intended to hold a photo, but it didn't fit in the snow globe with that, so I just unscrewed it. And now it just looks like a cute little Christmas reindeer, so that will go in one of them. And then at Target, we found these really funny figurines in like the little stocking stuffer section. So these are from A Christmas Story. There's a little kid with his shotgun and then there's also the leg lamp so in case you didn't know a Christmas story is set in Cleveland it's like a big time Cleveland movie and that is my hometown so I thought that they would make a good like themed snow globe then we can pull it out every year and be reminded of home so just kind of funny but you can put whatever you want inside of these too and then I have a hot glue gun to put everything in there so I'm gonna start by making the bases of the snow globes just so I know how much I need to actually put inside the snow globes themselves I'm gonna put some of these like powdered snow pieces on there and that will kind of be the bottom up here and I'm just totally winging this I have never done this before so there's no right way or wrong way I'm just gonna figure it out as we go along just gonna leave a little extra room on the edges so it has room to be screwed in I'm gonna glue the bottom like that and put some of these snowflakes on there just to make the bottom look a little bit more like snowy since this is hollow I'm gonna cut a pom-pom in half and just kind of stuff it that way it won't fall over once it's in the snow globe. They had um, at Target too, even if you don't want a Christmas story, they had like little Frosty the Snowman figurines and things like that in the same section. And they were just in like the stocking stuffer section over by the food at Target. So you could get things like that to make these. Let me know if you've seen a Christmas story and what you think. And if you know what the leg is all about. And this is another project that also doesn't matter if it's too messy because if there's little white pieces around it just looks like extra snow. The key is just making sure that everything is like glued down enough so that it won't fall apart. And I'm gonna put one of these Christmas trees in there too. Let those sit and cool for a second. Don't mind the fact that Rudolph is so much bigger than the trees just because he's a boss. Also this isn't Rudolph but that's okay. Sprinkle some snow in there. And then I'm gonna add some of this silver sparkle too. All right now the test is turning everything so down. All right, and there you have the finished snow globes. I think this one's my favorite, but there they both look. Easy project to make at home, that's for sure. Okay guys, so that's everything I have for this DIY Christmas gift video. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some fun ideas to give to your loved ones this year. I hope you have an amazing holiday season and you just have a great time celebrating and a very, very happy new year. Thank you so much for watching and for spending some time with me and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day guys. Bye, happy holidays.